Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 9. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, according to His great mercy, has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to obtain an inheritance which is imperishable, undefiled, and will not fade away, reserved in heaven for you, who are protected by the power of God through faith, for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, even though now, for a little while if necessary, you have been distressed by various trials, so that the proof of your faith, being more precious than gold, which perishes though tested by fire, may be found to result in praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And though you have not seen Him, you love Him. And though you do not see Him now, but believe in Him, you greatly rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, obtaining as the outcome of your faith the salvation of your souls. Some people have the wrong idea about the Christian life. Once they become believers, they expect smooth sailing. However, Jesus made it clear that we'll all face troubles. His own life was no exception. He endured false accusation, rejection, betrayal, and separation from God, His Father. Those of us who are His followers can also expect difficulty. Some problems arise from the fallen nature of the world, while others result from spiritual warfare and we can cause our own heartache from ignorance or sin. There's also another possibility. Sometimes God Himself brings trials. While it's difficult to accept this, the Lord never allows hardship unless He has a beautiful purpose, and He always gives us strength to endure. Remember, God permits struggles for our benefit. Perhaps they're to purify and grow us for greater service. Maybe He's testing our endurance and devotion or He might be revealing His sustaining power. This side of heaven, we may never know the cause or purpose of each challenge, but we can trust God's ability to deliver and mature us. What trials are you facing? Jesus understands your pain and longs to be the one you cling to through good times and bad. You can choose to look elsewhere for comfort, or you can use your hardship as an opportunity to connect with God.